Why, hello there! Welcome back to YouTube. This is Mr. Daniels, and today we are talking about Riding with Voice! That would be my game show host voice there. It is brought to you by the brilliant yet balding people of Daniels Incorporated. And today we're going to learn about all the different unique voices that you guys have inside you because you know what? You are all different. And uh, we're going to prove that through this PowerPoint here to embrace the beauty that is inside you. Let's go ahead and get started here. So I love games. I think you do too. We're going to play a game. All right. Here's how the game works. It's very simple. You're going to hear plenty of voices coming your way. And it's your job to recognize them. Are you ready? Let's try one. All right. The first voice is coming your way because I got a guest speaker right here. Hello, guest speaker. Why don't you come on and identify yourself? Hi, I'm Elmo. Elmo, Elmo says, good luck this school year. <laughs> All right, so that was pretty easy, wasn't it? Uh, how did you know that was Elmo other than the fact that he gave away his name as Elmo? Uh, what was about the voice that gave it away? Uh, maybe it was the high-pitched, I don't know. Maybe it was the fact that he referred to himself in the third person. Elmo, why do you do that? El El Elmo doesn't know. Elmo likes referring to himself in third person. Ha, 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 ha. Funny. Elmo, funny. That's lovely. And uh, there's a picture of Elmo here. So that was, you know, that, that, that was pretty easy. Let's move on to a maybe a more difficult one here. We're going to go ahead and get on into the next slide here. Let's try another one. And uh, close your eyes. And I want you to get ready for this one. Okay. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and get him ready here, Mr. Guest Speaker. Crikey! What do we have here? Oh my gosh, I don't know what we have out there, but I think we have lots of students that are learning about something called voice. Maybe you recognize me. I come from a TV show, maybe Animal Planet. You've seen me on there. I'm from Australia. I don't know if you know who I am, but I like wrestling crocodiles and eating snakes and all that good stuff there. All right, that may have been a bit harder, but uh, you know what? Steve Irwin, otherwise known as the Crocodile Hunter, has sadly enough passed away, but you know what? His spirit is still alive in this classroom. I have no idea how I got his spirit to come back to talk to us, but that was quite amazing, actually. Maybe, um, maybe he can make another reappearance later in the school year. Uh, but you know what? What was it about this voice that made it different from the first one? Um, did he say anything that he's famous for saying? If, you're, if you've ever seen his videos, which if you haven't, you do need to look them up on YouTube. They're amazing. Uh, he's famous for saying that, crikey, crikey, you know? Uh, he, he has enthusiasm, and uh, he definitely does not refer to himself in the third person like Elmo does. Um, enthusiasm, yeah, all that stuff there we've already discussed, so... I'm ready to move on. Oh, there is a picture of him if you did not know what he looks like. Holding a crocodile. Who? How many of you would actually hold a crocodile? I think I have a picture of myself doing that from long ago. Let's move on to this one here. Uh, let's try another one here. Uh, guest speaker, are you ready to speak? Please go ahead and give it to the students. Here we go. Hello, I'm Foss, Foss Gump. Do you like chocolates? Mama always said life is like a box of chocolates. You never know what you're going to get. I would like to tell you about my friend Lieutenant Dan. Or maybe I could tell you about my friend Bubba. We done started the Bubba Gump Shrimp. Okay, I'll stop right there. Yeah. Uh, besides the fact that he gave away his identity, uh, why do you always do that, Forrest Gump? I don't know. How did you know that was Forrest Gump? By the way, if you've never seen Forrest Gump, amazing movie. Uh, 
I think that maybe, uh, so what was it about his voice that made him unique from other people? Uh, maybe the fact that he has a southern drawl. Maybe the fact that he talks about the chocolates. He talks slower. All that other stuff there. Did he say anything that only he's known for saying? Uh, the box of chocolates line. Oh my gosh, he made that famous. Before that, it was just kind of a cliche saying, and now it's almost always given to Forrest Gump. There he is with his chocolates right there. Jenny. Johnny and I was like peas and carrots. And uh, he's got his bag there. He's going to see Jenny, it looks like. Uh, we got time for one more. Now, unless you've been living under a rock the past week, you are sure to recognize the final voice. Are you ready for this one? Let's go ahead and get started here. Last guest speaker, come on in here. Why, hello there. I think you students have been through my boot camp this past week. And I think you little whippersnappers seem like I have gotten you into shape to learn Mr. Daniel's rules and procedures. The question is this. Will you rise to the expectation that he has set before you? Or will you flounder flopping on the ground like a little sad fishy? I hope. You choose the first one. All right. So what was it about Captain Daniels that made him different from all the rest of the characters? Uh, once again, maybe it was just the command of his voice. He kind of scares me. Uh, the picture is popping up here. My dear, the goatee, he's scaring me. And, man, very patriotic with the flag flying above you, Captain Daniels. That's lovely. Um but uh, the, the, the point of this is that he is different from all those other people, right? You know, he, he spoke in his own way. He had his own sayings. And we're going to talk about the voice pertaining to you now. So what is voice? Like, you don't want to sound like any of those other people. You want to sound like yourself. So let's talk about that. When you write, you should have your own personality coming through. And uh, it's not someone else's. Voice is making the reader feel emotion. I hope you had emotion as you were uh, listening to those voices that were coming through because you recognize a lot of them, I hope. Um, voice is having individuality, not imitating other people. You know, if you put those lines like box of chocolates in your writing, it's kind of dull. It's flavorless because it's not you. It's Forrest Gump. Don't be saying crocky in your papers. That's Crocodile Hunter, you know, unless you say crocky in your everyday life. Um, voice is flavor, charm, liveliness. It makes it fun and passionate to read. Uh, it's just basically being yourself. And hey, who can argue with that? that uh, when you guys are 12, 13 years old, you got to be yourself. Embrace yourself. You're, you're okay who you are. Um, writing with voice is very much fresh and fun to read. And I love this last one here. It sounds like a conversation, like when you're coming out in, in your own voice. So uh, when you guys write your personal narratives next week, I hope you try to embrace uh, that personality that makes you you because that is uh, unique, it's different, and you know what? It's going to get you a good grade on your paper. So uh, I, I hope you all enjoyed this video, and uh, I hope you all uh, wish you well on your narratives next week. Have a blessed, blessed afternoon.